Hey all, here at OS Reviews. I'm always a fan of looking at novelty desk gadgets, and in terms of cool Bluetooth speakers, one of the ones that we checked out before that I really liked was the Ditto. It was trying to imitate a small kind of retro style computer or Macintosh with its pixel display, but also connecting to Bluetooth to play music. And today we're taking a look at another example of a product like that, but even more affordable. This one is called the Cuda X10, and it's trying to imitate a tiny vinyl player. So it has uh, this disc on the top, which actually does spin. There's a motor inside that spins it, but of course of course, the disc itself doesn't play music. It still connects to your phone or any device using Bluetooth. It can also be used as an auxiliary 3.5 millimeter plug-in speaker as well, and just is super tiny and really cute looking. Now this sells for under 30 bucks, sometimes goes on sale for even less than that, so really affordable as well, and comes in a number of different colors for the plastic shell, including green, there's a light blue, there's a pink version as well. They're all very floral accents, kind of inspired by the 70s or 80s. And you can see there's also an analog knob on the side that you can twist to change the volume as well. There's also a micro SD card slot that you can use to pop in a memory card with music. For technical specs, it does use the latest Bluetooth 5.0 standard and has a 1000 mAh capacity battery that can last for around 10 hours before you need to recharge it again. Internally, we have of course just the speaker itself along with some of the uh, charging cables. It does use micro USB. Of course, USB type C would be even better, but for this budget price, it is what it is. The auxiliary, if you don't want to use Bluetooth when connecting to an audio source like an older MP3 player, for instance, a quick user guide. So taking a closer look at the design, again, this thing is just super cute and really does try to resemble a vinyl and the detailing on the vinyl even looks pretty realistic. And the arm here actually is the power switch. So you can actually rotate this in this position to turn it off. And if you pop it inwards, it will actually turn on and you can see Bluetooth it will start mode. into the different modes as well as start to spin uh, when music is being played back. But when there's nothing playing, you can see the disc will also stop spinning. So that's a very good attention to detail. I didn't really expect that they would actually have a real spinning disc that would align with the music that you're playing back uh, for this price. But they have done that at this price, which is great. And this tiny little knob here, which typically would be corresponding to the speed of the disc that you're playing, the rotations uh, per minute, but on here you can actually use it to control the audio source. So whether you want to use it in the Bluetooth mode, or I can twist this to change it into the uh, micro SD card mode that comes out of the memory slot, or I can use it in the auxiliary mode that turns it into a wired speaker. Now finally on the front here we have parts where the sound can come out from, and we have just this little knob which is also chrome etched and can control the volume and also works really well, has a nice tactile sensation as you're pressing on it. You can also press inwards to physically play and pause your music as well. On the back here we have the slots for the micro SD, micro USB for charging, auxiliary, and then on the bottom here are some rubber feet that prevents it from sliding around and also again where most of the sound will come out from along with the sides. And for anyone that's curious, here's the size as it stacks up against a 7-inch record player, which by the way is still a very compact machine, not a full-sized player, but you can see that even against a pretty much a tiny record player, it's still considered minuscule. It has a again size that's going to be obviously much larger than this tiny little uh, Bluetooth speaker. And here's a full-sized record player, a standard one that is in a briefcase style, and we can see that this is the speaker. And now without further ado, let's do a quick audio sample. So the takeaway here is the audio quality is actually quite good, surprisingly, for something so cheap and more of a novelty speaker, I originally thought, than anything else. And 
Due to the tiny size, I didn't think it would pack much in terms of volume or bass, but actually there is a nice touch in the lower frequency as well. So whenever you're listening to a drum beat or an EDM song, you can actually hear it slightly rumble on the surface of a desk. Of course, it's not going to be as powerful as a boombox or a a huge dedicated bass speaker, but certainly is better than you'll think just by looking at it. I would say most of the mids and trebles come out from this side and the bass kind of comes out from the bottom section. So it does actually pack a punch in terms of, again, those low frequency notes from a compact speaker, which is pretty cool. Uh, overall sound quality also gets very loud, especially when you crank up the sound, can fill up an entire space or room without any problems. And in terms of the controls, again, if we kind of just pause the music here, I can also long hold and then kind of resume the song here. Uh, one thing I will say here is in terms of when the music is paused after a few seconds, you'll see that the disc here will also stop spinning, so it does have a very convincing effect. So when you're playing music and the audio is turned to one of the lower settings, you can still hear a little bit of a noise that's generated by that spinning motor, but overall not too distracting. The other observation here is 10 hours of battery life for a compact speaker is decent. It could be a little bit longer, but a portion of that battery is consumed by the motor that has to spin this disc around and around. So maybe in the future they can also have a mode where you can optionally stop the spin uh, for the motor altogether if you want to save on battery power. But overall, it definitely adds a very cool touch. It's a great conversation starter, and people passing by will definitely kind of stop and wonder, marvel at it. So that is more or less it as far as our hands-on review of the CUDA X10, a super cute compact mini Bluetooth speaker that has a inspired by a record player design and has a real spinning action for the disc on top. You can control it in various different modes and the sound quality is also quite good for something so small. It doesn't break the bank but could be a great desk or conversation starter gadget and definitely is going to be better sound quality than the speakers on your smartphone or your computer for sure. So you can check out more details if you're interested in the links down below but for now that's been our video. Thanks for watching here at OS Reviews. It's been the CUDA X10.